Welcome to Australian Geology Travel Maps. I'm David Collins from Trilobite Solutions and in this video I'll give you an overview of the app as it, as it exists in 2020. Australian Geology Travel Maps is available for Android phones and tablets via Google's Play Store and for iPhones and iPads via Apple's App Store. It does not run on laptops or desktop computers. Now, when you first run the app, you'll be quite quickly prompted to sign up for the app subscription. But you're also automatically given a one-week free trial. And no payment comes out of your account until the trial is over. And unless, of course, you cancel during the trial, and then, of course, no transaction occurs at all. Mining and expiration lease data is included as part of the core functionality, but I'm not covering that in this demo. You will see that um, information under data layers when you run the app. And also um, there are uh, specialist gold prospector maps are also available for extra subscription. These are actually listed in blue in the manage downloads list, but these are also not covered by this demo. Anyway, I'll just move myself out of the way and we'll get started. And uh, this is what the app looks like when you first run it. So there are no, uh, when you first install it, there are no geology maps. And if you click, and um, Apple Maps or Google Maps will be shown depending on whether you're running on an Android or Apple device. And if you look here, you'll see what maps are available. Now, when you first run it, you won't see anything, uh, any of these maps um, that are underneath downloaded maps, you'll just see the maps in this area. So you'll see Apple Maps or Google Maps and satellite imagery and in the Android version you'll also see a terrain and these all require the internet. So the idea is um, that this um, runs in the field without any access to the internet so that the whole system relies on you downloading the geology maps that you need. And therefore, the first thing you, you'll do is come into here, into Manage Downloads. And here you will see a great number of geology maps covering Australia and now New Zealand as well. So um, see the ones here in New Zealand at the top, um, but the remainder of the states are in alphabetical order. So we've got New South Wales, a number of maps there, Northern Territory, Queensland, <coughs> South Australia. Tasmania, Victoria, and Western Australia. Now for this demo, I've chosen to concentrate on Western Australia. And I have already down, as, as you saw before, there are a number of maps that I have already downloaded to the phone. So that they are stored on the phone, and therefore you need no internet connection, no mobile reception out in the field to buddy use all these maps. And all the ones that are downloaded will have a cross next to them. And if, if I wanted to remove this, I would click on that and say yes. But in this case, I'll say no. Um, so I've downloaded WA Simple Geology, WA Bedrock Geology, and WA Resources. And there's another map that you'll see there, which was Kalgoorlie 1 to 100K. That actually came from, where are we? Um, <coughs> came from this list here. Now these maps are all produced by the Geological Survey of Western Australia and I downloaded the Kalgoorlie to 1, one to 100,000 um, mosaic map um, because I'm going to concentrate on a, an area in Leonora. So we'll come back to the uh, uh, the main uh, to the uh, map view and now I've downloaded um, these maps what I'll do is I'll pick the simplest geology map first of all so WA simple geology now this is a great map for if you're just driving around um, because all the explanations of the um, of the rock units are, are fairly understandable even without local knowledge uh, what I'll do is um, I'll, we'll go up to um, Kananara 
and this will demonstrate search capability here. So while you've got an internet connection, um, this does a, uh, a internet search of locations and it'll take us to Karanara. Now one thing about all the maps that are produced by, all the geology maps that are produced by Trilobite Solutions is that as well as showing the uh, geology, uh, it also shows the relief. And so Kananara is um, quite a good area to, to demonstrate that. And so you can, oh here we go, we've got uh, Lake Argyle and you can see the the general topography of the country. Um, all these dark navy blue lines, they're all faults. And a characteristic of the, of the Trilobite Solutions geology maps are they are interactive. So if I tap on any rock unit, it shows me what it is. So that's no, the grey rock there is Mesoproterozoic sediments. This rock here is Paleoproterozoic Proterozoic granites and this green coloured rock, Cambrian mafic uh, to ultramafic rocks, and here we've got some younger sediment quaternary colluvium and all residual depo deposits. And um, if you uh, want more information about the rocks, well, then you click on the pop up, and now we see more information that's supplied by the, the, the geological survey in this case for the state, um, in this case the geological survey of, of Western Australia. Now I'll show you uh, what um, some of these other buttons on the uh, map view do. This top button takes you back to a previous view. This button takes you to where you're located, so this is um, a very well used button. And I'm located just near Leonora, just uh, just northeast of Leonora. Uh, plus is zoom in, minus is zoom out. Now this button allows you to set an overlay over the top of the base map. And you can set any map on top of any other map. What I'll do is I'll choose to overlay WA resources over the top of the geology. And if you want to, you can adjust the transparency. So you can see they've almost disappeared now. Let's bring them back a bit. Now the resources uh, map is also interactive. There you go, there's a gold mine called Viceroy. Pride of Leonora, another gold mine. And as with the geology units, clicking on the pop up brings you more information about the mine, again from the Geological Survey of Western Australia. Now I can change the base map and the overlay map independently. So what I'll do now is I'll move to a more detailed geology map the WA Bear Drop Geology map. You can see there's a lot lot more detailed information in, in that now. Again, this is a, um, a statewide, it's a trilobite solutions map, so again, it's interactive. So you can see here. Now you can see now we've got much more, um, much more spe spe specific information about the rock. Melita formation, Kent spore basalt. And a bit more information than in the simple geology map as well for the for the detailed information. Now with the West, Western Australian uh, system, 
as I mentioned before, we've also got this other um, the map supplied by the Geological Survey of Western Australia themselves. And as you can see, this gives you even more information. So this is a very, very nice map, all of these um, ge geology mosaic maps supplied by the Geological Survey of Western Australia, very nice. Uh, but they're not interactive, they're not trilobite solutions maps. Um, so it's quite handy to bub to if you're, you're looking at that and you think, okay, that's, um, that's good, but I need to know what, uh, what that actually represents. You can just flip over the bit of rock geology, click on that, and say so that's eastern gold fields, subterrain green stones. So now we'll go back to the um, geological survey map. Now, for some of these other um, other buttons, this allows you to, to mark any location on the map. So what you can do is you can mark your current location, so that'll be where you're standing at the time when you're in the field, or I can tap on the map at any location and create a, uh, uh, a marker location. Now, while while it's it's in this mode where it's waiting for me to tap on the map, that'll be green. So I want to mark a location at this particular spot. I'll just change the title here. Save that. Oh, by the way, these locations, they can be exported to KML uh, for viewing in Google Earth. And it's important if you, if you mark a lot of locations to back them up to CSV file. And this is also a way of, of getting them onto another phone. And now we've got a marked location on the map. Now this button here will record your, your, your path, your trail. And while it's recording your trail, it'll be green. Now I've got a, a, a trail here. I'll just turn that off because we're not moving anywhere. And you can tap on the trail and this one's called Demo Track 2. And again, you can go in, you can modify the title, you can put in some extra description here. And you can export the uh, the trail to, to, K, to KML so that it can be viewed in Google Earth and again um, it's very important to back these up to the CSV format. Um, but as well as being able to export trails to, to Google Earth, you can also import trails from Google Earth. So you can make up trails in Google Earth and import them into the app. And in fact this trail was not actually recorded by the app. I created this trail in Google Earth and imported it as a KML file. And then this last one is for use with trilobite um, with interactive maps only. So I'll change this over to uh, back over to simple geology. And th this is it's recommended that you use this with the simple geology maps while you're driving. Um, it's very effective, tells you whenever you uh, move over into a, in, into a different rock unit. Listen carefully, I will tell you whenever the geology changes. And so while that's, uh, while, while, while that's happening, that'll be green. And yes, if we, if we move from here, say up north, as we go over this boundary, she will talk to us and say, um, you are now over Quaternary alluvium and, and or residual deposits and, and so on. Okay, I'll take a break. Thing to show you is the menu icon. Now there's a, a wealth of information here um, under help, so if you um, click on that 
and uh, you have an internet connection, it'll bring you to the trilobite.solutions website. And there's um, instructional videos, a user guide, uh, you can join the mailing list, mm -hmm. there's special um, pages on, on, on very particular information, like data security, um, data privacy, backing up your data, uh, managing your subscriptions, and so on. And also, if you keep on scrolling down, get get to the uh, contact us form. There we go. As well. The other thing that um, is worth checking out every now and then is there is a few features that you you're not going to accidentally find, but if you go to the extra features page, this gives you some very good hints uh, about extra features that are a bit more hidden away in the app. Uh, there's also a geological time scale uh, provided by the uh, Ge Geoscience Australia, and this is also the area where you can check out your subscriptions, my subscriptions, that's very handy. Um, and uh, this, this is a, a way, a, a, an area where you, you can you can sub subscribe as well. And uh, if you set up a second de device, a de second Apple device, uh, then you need to uh, run this restore purchases as well. Okay, I hope you enjoy using Australian geology travel maps.